Well, here's a plant that everyone maybe can recognize as a milkweed. This is a swamp milkweed. Milkweeds, as probably most people know, are important for monarchs. Um, one interesting point. Another one, of course, is that they are wind dispersed. Everyone has probably played with the, the follicles is the correct name for the type of fruit that they make, but that it's that pod-like structure that we see late in the summer that you can, that actually splits open and has all the seeds attached to some fluffy hairs that blow about in the wind. They have really cool flowers. <laughs> The flowers are way different than most other plants. In fact, there's a, a number of terms that are used to help describe the milkweed flowers that only are applied to, to these, these plants. The petals are actually these little structures here, and they go down. You know, again, that's sort of against the, the uh, typical pattern that most flowers have petals that are upright. Well, in milkweed, the flowers are pointing down. And then up on top here, there's a little structure called a corona, or it means crown, of course, a term that means crown. And um, that's a, a structure that you don't see on very many other plants. It boils down to the milkweed having a pollination system that's very different than other plants as well. Having these unique flowers also means that they have um, a way of being pollinated that is pretty different than most other plants. They are similar to the orchid, the orchids in one regard in that they produce pollen that's all in a uh, group or cluster. So un unlike most plants that disperse pollen by insects or by wind, sort of just one grain at a time or a few grains at a time, these plants have a package of pollen called a pollinia. What has to happen is an insect has to be attracted to the flowers, of course, due to scent or to the fact that there is nectar here. But then it has to sort of accidentally get its foot pushed into or stuck into a kind of a narrow slit. And when that happens, it's, when its leg or bottom of its leg goes into that narrow slit, it will hopefully contact a, a structure there that will get caught onto the leg. So when it pulls its leg back out, it pulls out a, a couple of these pollinia, a couple of these packages of pollen. Well, the, if the insect gets that far, then of course it has to fly to another plant someplace of the same species, the same type of milkweed, and again get attracted to the flowers, and again land on the flowers, and in its attempt to find and search for nectar, now it has to somehow insert that leg that's carrying the pollinia into another one of those slits. So it's got to like just accidentally somehow position its leg and, and accidentally get that leg into that slit in order to get the, the pollen grains into that, that little doorway, we might say. And so it's, it's a situation that is, well, pollination doesn't happen very easily, I guess is one way of putting it. So despite all of these flowers, and there's probably uh, maybe a couple hundred flowers here, uh, if we came back in the fall, we might only see two or three actual fruits. That means out of a, hundred, a couple hundred flowers, only two or three of them actually got pollinated and went on to produce seeds. So it's kind of, um, kind of odd why the milkweed would evolve a strategy that makes it so hard to produce seed, I guess. Uh, one thing it does do is it um, helps to ensure that only pollen from other milkweeds is, is probably put into the little doorway and, and pollinate the plant. So it's, it's probably a way of making it more efficient in terms of making sure this pollen goes to another milkweed and doesn't just get wasted somewhere else on other plants. The fact that there's a plenia, a whole bunch of pollen, helps to ensure that if that does happen, if it's, you know, all those things fall into place and that insect does push that, that plenia in through that little doorway and, and contact the stigma in there, that at least there'll be a whole bunch of pollen grains, and that means a whole bunch of, of seeds then, then can, be, can be formed. Milkweeds are cool.